Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna go through and animate a fight scene. Uh, and we're gonna go through all the steps, all the way from the beginning, draw everything, and uh, draw all the action, color it and everything. And I'm gonna show you all the stuff that I've done here uh, to get this animation done. And so let's go ahead and get started. This animation, is taken from reference footage uh, and that's your first step I'm gonna go back and turn off all these layers I'm gonna turn off the ink lines and the fills the masks I'm gonna turn off these shadows up here turn them off and then I'm gonna turn off the background there we go completely blank canvas and I'm going to turn on the reference footage. The reference footage uh, I got from the internet, of course, and it's Bruce Lee um, against Chuck Norris. Um, and if I go to the beginning, hit play, this is what uh, was animated. Boom! Um, and Chuck Norris hit the, hits the floor, and then Bruce Lee just stands there, right? And that's basically what I animated. So I grabbed this footage only only for the animation um, the actual action um, and I used it as reference and I sketched out I'm gonna turn on my sketch layer so you could see the sketches that I did I need to turn on my here are the sketches um, and I did a few frames. Let me go to draw mode so we don't see the, ye the yellow highlight. And you can see my sketches. A and I don't draw every single frame. I did the key poses, the, the more significant frames. But I just wanted to get the dynamics, the action of the fight. And there it is. Let me turn off the reference footage. so You can see the action, the sketch layer. There's a sketch layer. And then I went back. I didn't want to draw Bruce Lee and Chuck Norris. I wanted to do cartoony characters. I wanted to do like cartoony characters with big heads uh, and simplified it. I wanted to simplify it. Uh, so very very simple lines. I resketched it based on the old sketch. I resketched it out, and I added big heads, simplified the pants, the shoes, the clothing, uh, all the body parts. I just simplified it. It made it a little bit more simpler. Uh, and when I was happy with it. I then went back and inked it. So this is this is sketch number two, uh, and you can you can put any character here. Uh, all I did with the first sketch layer, I got my body positions, I got the action, and then and then you can basically right on top of that draw any characters you want on it. So what I did is, again, I, I made a big head, I simplified the body, I simplified the, the lines, and then I proceeded to do draw in my ink lines. So I inked it, and so we could see the sketch lines, boom. Um, and so that we can see the ink lines, I'm sorry. And so we can see the ink lines without that modifier. Boom, there it is. I got the action. I've got my character. This is not Chuck Norris. And this is not Bruce Lee. They're just some random characters, cartoony characters uh, with this um, cool looking kick. Um, and so once I did that, I then inked it. I mean, I'm sorry, I then colored it. I added the color. And all I did was use the fill bucket tool and so I did uh, the blue versus the green and that was it uh, after this 
um, I decided to do add a background and so I added a background which was a warehouse uh, but the warehouse looked cool right there but not right there and not right there either because he's at a close-up shot and so I had to put the floor in there this floor there's the warehouse and when he falls down boom there's the floor and then I wanted a close-up of the the back wall and so I added the close-up of the back wall so it's the warehouse the floor and then the close-up the last thing I did was I added a shadows um, layer right there you can see the shadow you'll see it here at the bottom I added a blur on that uh, and that's all I did there that's the entire process it is very tedious I drew a bunch of frames now um, what I'd like to do uh, maybe I could do this in a in a in another video what I'd like to do is draw some more in between frames and then draw some motion blur in these these high action shots these high action frames uh, maybe not on this one but on these where he's where he's taking in the kick and falling down um, add some motion blur uh, and or oops there we go and that's the that's the final uh, if we listen to the audio which by the way if you go to a video sequencer I put in that clip so that we can get the audio uh, there it is and that's all there is it is a, it is a little tedious uh, you have to draw all the frames in fact if I go back to my dope sheet uh, you can see all the frames that I did but there's still some gaps here with no action that I like to go back and add some in between frames uh, and have the action a little bit smoother uh, this took me about maybe five hours total and that's the final Hey guys, that's it. I hope this video was uh, helpful to you. Uh, if you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe and I will see you on the next one. Thank you guys.